Welcome to Booze in the Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and today's cocktail is an Empress Mai Tai. Now, the classic Mai Tai was the life of the party. You had that dark rum, you had that almond from the Orzhok, the orange, and the citrus flavors all blended together to give you a fantastic cocktail that you could have anywhere. So, I was looking through some recipes, and I came across this version, which is, of course, the Empress Mai Tai, but it uses gin instead as a split base. And I'm not sure where it's gonna take us, but let's try it out together. Now it is a shaken cocktail, and we're going to start this with the base. Now you need to use a dark rum. In this case, I'm using a slightly lighter one called Fortress Rum from Nova Scotia, and we don't need a lot. We're going to start this with half an ounce or 15 mils. Our second ingredient is gin. Now having said that, we're using Empress 1908 gin, and the good thing about this is it's got two things going for it. A, it's gin and that's what you need for the cocktail. B, it contains butterfly pea flower, which will give us a gorgeous color change when we get to our citrus. Now, if you don't have access to the Emperor's 1908, you can use butterfly pea tea to infuse your own favorite gin to make this work. So we're going to use an ounce and a half or 45 mils. Your next ingredient now is an orange liqueur. And for that, I am going to use a little bit of Cointreau. You could use triple sec. No matter what version you use, you might get a slightly different flavor and sweetness out of it, but you're not gonna use a lot. This is just to highlight the drink. We're gonna use half an ounce or 15 mils. Now we're going to use our sweetener, and for that, we're going to use an Orgeat. Now I'm using a homemade version of that. Uh, if you're unfamiliar with what Orgeat is, it is an almond syrup, and it also has notes of orange in it, and you can actually adjust this one any way you want. You wanna use one that's lighter in color for this, and we're going to use half an ounce or 15 mils. Now we're going to add our sour component. In this case, we're using lime juice. So what you wanna do is grab yourself a knife, give your lime a little bit of a roll just to loosen up all the innards for it, cut it in half, cut out enough for a garnish, then squeeze out half an ounce or 15 mils and pour it into the glass. Now that you've added all of the base ingredients, what we're going to do is fill this up with a bit of ice. We don't need a lot, we just need about one scoop, and that'll give us three quarters of the glass. Grab yourself your lid, make sure you have a really good seal. Give it a flip and shake it with a smile. Once you've done that, pop that off with the strength of a thousand limes, and put it off to the side. What we're going to do now is put this into a rocks glass. I'm using a double rocks glass. Use whatever size that fits you and whatever you happen to have. So what we're going to do now is just fill the glass with a bunch of ice all the way up to the top pretty much. And then what you're gonna do is use your Hawthorne strainer and your fine strainer. And we're just gonna do this to take out any little chips of ice and lime pulp. Oh, look at that. Absolutely gorgeous color. Grab yourself your lime wedge and just slide it on the side just like this. And here you have an Empress Mai Tai. So you get a little bit of lime, which of course it's right there, and you get a little bit of almond. Mmm, really, really good. And it's good in a different way because the gin is present, but it's not overpowering. You get subtle hints of the rum. You get the orgeat with a slight hint of the citrus notes. If you like this style of cocktail, take a look right here.